And supporting 5G will involve innovative technologies and Nokia is about to make an announcement that contributes to that goal right here on day one of Mobile World Congress 2017. To talk about this is Gunter Otendorfer. He's Chief Operations Officer at Sprint. We also have Ricky Corker. He's Executive Vice President and Head of North America at Nokia. And gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, thanks for having us. Ricky, I want to start with you. A uh, lot of obstacles, of course, uh, in um, launching 5G technologies. One of those is really utilizing existing spectrum. Something that Nokia is working on is focusing cell antenna, antennas directionally. Can you talk about some of the benefits of that? Yeah, certainly. So, you know, we're always looking at how can we gain more capacity in the networks as consumers use more data. So today, if you look at, particularly in the, TD, in the FD world, uh, we're using uh, sectorization of the cells. So basically it's splitting the cells up into, smaller, into a larger number of cells, each one smaller, and using directional antennas to do that. So what we find with that is we can probably get like a 50% gain in terms of capacity on the cell. Uh, but it does require a lot of additional antennas, a lot of additional OPEX, and we also have space limitations in a lot of our sites. So that's why now when we look towards 5G, we need to create new uh, technologies uh, to address that problem. Gunter, I want to talk about some of those technologies that he's referring to. One of them is massive MIMO that we've heard about. Another one is beamforming. Can you explain both of those? Yes, so beamforming is basically the idea that especially in higher band spectrum and with time division LTE, you have the possibility to shape the beam of the antenna by using more antenna elements and making the antenna smart. So beamforming is great and Massive MIMO takes it one step further. You suddenly have a massive volume of antenna elements with many, many, many input and output streams that can direct and shape the beam of the antenna precisely to the active users in a sector. Ricky, I want to talk about this announcement I referred to, uh, that's today, and is it a joint announcement with Sprint, and what is that? It's, it is a joint announcement with Sprint. Uh, Sprint will be the first operator in North America to deploy massive MIMO on their TD LTE uh, network. So the announcement for us is we're announcing that we are deploying massive MIMO. Uh, we are using commercial products today, commercial handsets, and we're going to launch that massive MIMO utilizing our new 4.9G air scale massive MIMO adaptive antenna. As Gunther was saying, we'll have 64 uh, antennas built into this antenna, which really creates massive increases in capacity. Gunther, I want to talk about maybe some real world use cases for massive MIMO. Can you give us a couple of those? In the mobile network, the traffic is rising. You have cells that are hotspots. So there is where the bulk of the traffic is happening. And that's where we will use the massive MIMO antennas. And that's where their benefit will be immediately visible for customers in creating better reliability, capacity, and throughput in those sectors. Ricky, we talked about at the top of the segment about uh, utilizing existing spectrum for uh, future 5G technologies. What's that relationship with existing spectrum with Sprint? So Sprint has a, a, a huge amount of 2.5 spectrum in North America. So what we're using, we're actually able to leverage that spectrum with massive MIMO, um, and, and that really creates an evolution then from 4G spectrum to 5G. So we can use the spectrum they already have today. The ideal thing about 2.5 spectrum with massive MIMO is that because it is a high band spectrum, it allows us to actually create a form factor in the antenna which is much smaller than you could with uh, low band spectrum. Going to a 5G network, is that necessary in order to really realize these technologies? Yes, so as Rick said, we, we are the happiest carrier because we have so much spectrum. With massive MIMO, we can now really use that. And it's a technology that is a bridge between 4G and 5G. So we will start using it already in 4G, but then it will really blossom uh, together, hopefully with Nokia in 5G. Gunter and Ricky, uh, good luck with your announcement later uh, today here at Mobile World Congress 2017, and thanks for talking to us. Great, thanks very much. We're very thanks. excited and happy about it. Thank you, Ricky. Thanks, Gunter. Thank you very much. And to our viewers, to get more of content right here from Mobile World Congress 2017, you can go to tinow.org. So long.